I can still get all the benefits of the short vol trade and make a nice profit as that UVXY just naturally decays. I'm just doing it in a smarter way that doesn't require me to dodge volatility spikes like Neo in the Matrix. Welcome back everybody to Volatility Trading Strategies. So today I'm gonna to go over something that I think a lot of you who follow my type of content are gonna be very interested in, and that is a profitable but safe short volatility strategy. Now, before we go into the details of my vol trend strategy, we first have to ask the question, why would anybody want to short volatility? So what you're looking at here is a chart of the UVXY going back to its inception on October 3rd, 2011. This is a 1.5 times leveraged long volatility ETF on a logarithmic chart. Now, if you follow me, you're likely very familiar with the UVXY already. If you're not though, I've got dozens of videos explaining how these volatility ETFs actually work, and the dangers of trading them if you don't understand how they function. But it really doesn't take a genius to see that the UVXY tends to go down over time, right? In fact, this thing is down 99.99% since it launched. So I guess the obvious question is, well why doesn't everybody in the world short that thing and just make millions of dollars? It seems like it should basically be printing money, right? This is an ATM machine. But the problem is is occasionally volatility does spike up very violently, and it's those losses that end up costing people. The gains are easy. As they say, everybody's a genius in a bull market. And most people who short these products end up stringing together some pretty easy wins. A few weeks, maybe a month or longer, it seems like easy money. And then the market bites back, and those losses take you right back to where you started. So obviously, if we want to succeed long term, we need a system with very effective risk management, and that's what the vol trend strategy is. If you want to see it and follow some of my live trades, down in the description and also on my website, there's a free trial to VTS for everyone. You can check out the volatility barometer, the volatility dashboard, read my daily blogs, and see all of the live trade signals for each of our tactical strategies. So now let me show you how I make money shorting volatility the safe way. All right, so here we are inside the Thinkorswim platform from TD Ameritrade. Now your software might look a little different than this, but they all have the same functionality. And this little gray line right there is the current price of the UVXY at 1353. Now what a lot of people do, because they have seen that long-term chart of the UVXY that I showed before, they just short the ETF outright and try to make money off it. So let me show you what a short position looks like. This is 100 shares of the UVXY. And looking at this profile, sure, if you get a really good run where the UVXY goes down, maybe to 12 or even to the 11 range, you can make a couple hundred dollars. But remember, when these volatility ETFs spike up, it can be very violent and end up all the way over here. In the matter of a day or a few days during a severe crisis, it can go up here quite easily and maybe worse. It's not a symmetric trade and the losses can go way further than the gains. This is that classic two steps forward and then one giant step back pattern that a lot of short volatility traders suffer from. Or something else they try if we look at the option string, pricing for a couple weeks out on this June contract. Since people think the UVXY is going to go down, they might try to sell a short call, right? Maybe a few strikes out of the money, this 15 strike. And with the price right here, sure, if it stays exactly where it is, or goes down as expected, you could make an easy $55. But again, it's not hard to imagine how fast the losses can start piling up in a crisis. Several multiples more than the gains, and you'll end up with the same pattern. Several weeks of easy wins, and then one bad week and you're back to where you started. So clearly we have to be smarter about this. In fact, we can calculate the long-term average decay factor of the UVXY, which is about 2.1% a week, or about 8.5% a month. Now, of course, that's across all environments, so we can get a lot more specific with this, and we can use the current volatility data, the VIX futures, the spot VIX, how the UVXY actually functions, and we can calculate today what the future expected decay factor is for our current time frame. This is something that I run the numbers on every single day, not just for the UVXY, but all the main volatility ETFs, and I post those values in every daily trade signals email for the VTS community. Again, claim your free trial if you want to see that, but we're vol traders, so of course we have to know exactly how much decay factor we're expecting going forward given the current market environment. So again, here's the UVXY today and we do expect it to move down into this range over here most of the time. So the first thing we'll look at is called a butterfly option spread. The same June contract that I showed before has 14 days to expiration. And given long-term decay factors, we do expect the UVXY to drop a dollar or so on average in that time frame. So I can set this trade up at a maximum gain of say 12. And this is what that looks like. Now this is a little bit narrow, so I'm gonna expand these wings to 13 and to 11, highlight the break-even prices for you, 
And here's the current price. So if we analyze this, it's 5.5% to the upper break-even point, which when the VIX futures are in contango like they are now, this isn't very much. The distance to max profit is 11.3%, which is quite close to historical movement given what current volatility metrics look like. And then it's 17.1% to the lower break-even, which is getting to extremes and not very likely. So now we've got a trade with a very wide profit range, focused exactly where we expect the UVXY to go. And very importantly, if we look at the capital efficiency, this trade only costs $21 to open, and it can make nearly four times that much if what we expect to happen actually does. Compare that to the rookie trader who sold the naked call. One contract of a naked call option requires over $1,200 in margin to open, just trying to make $55. Plus, they risk losing several hundred or even a thousand or more if volatility spikes on them. Not exactly a smart way to set up a trade. Remember, this is leveraged long volatility. It can go up very quickly. But the person using the capital-efficient butterfly, they can easily put on several contracts, maybe five in this example. They're risking $105 to potentially make several times more than that if the UVXY decays just like it normally does, with no risk of getting blindsided by a huge volatility spike. Max loss, $105, even in a flash crash. So hopefully you can see that it really doesn't take very many of those to start adding up to a really good profit, with much better risk management, compared to those people who tie up a lot of capital with inefficient trades, and then basically do this and short volatility with their fingers crossed. So as a standalone strategy, the butterfly spread is a far superior trade structure. However, my portfolio isn't standalone. I have several tactical rotation strategies, and several more option strategies targeting all kinds of market environments. This Voltrend strategy is a very good one for me, no doubt, but it is only 15% of my portfolio. It's not about taking big risks on small amounts of capital. I want my entire net worth growing consistently over time. During stable markets, markets when stocks are going up and volatility is going down, I'm already going to have plenty of capital allocated to things that are making a nice return. I'm not actually that concerned about taking losses over here on the far low side of the trade. What I don't want to do is take losses up here on the high side of volatility when stocks are also going down. Now, of course, that is specific to my personal portfolio. But the truth is, the vast majority of investors out there are net long equities anyway. It might sound like a different trade and even a different asset class, but if you are long the S&P 500 in any variation, you are short volatility. So I don't want to just double or triple up on the same market exposure. That doesn't do anything for me. So now I can turn this standard butterfly spread into what's called a broken wing butterfly instead. This 11 strike, I can now move it down one to the 10. And this is what it looks like now. What I've essentially done is transfer even more of the risk over here down to the far low side over here. The middle profit range is still there, of course. The initial hypothesis for the trade is completely intact. So for one contract where the price is right now, the maximum loss is only $15, but the maximum gain is now $85, nearly six times the loss. Now, of course, it rarely hits on that perfect peak, but the point is this is a very big profit range where we expect the UVXY to go, and now the risk is uneven. If it actually does decay down to 11 or even $10, which now we're talking about 26% decay in just two weeks. Very unlikely, of course, but still possible. Even if that happens, I'm still less concerned because I'm going to have plenty of capital in my other strategies that will make far more than this trade loses. I'm almost daring the market to go down here because I know I'll make way more in aggregate if that happens. This trade would then just be a small loss in a total portfolio that's doing really well. So the normal butterfly spread is great, but this broken wing butterfly is even better because it pairs perfectly with what most investor portfolios actually look like. That's what it means to take a holistic approach to investing. It's not just one trade where I cross my fingers and hope it doesn't crash. It's specifically designed to fit in and add real diversification to the rest of my portfolio. Now, getting that calibration correct is what makes or breaks any investor long-term. That's why we're so careful to calculate long-term decay factors of these vol ETPs. That's why I run the numbers every day to match up with what the VIX futures are doing right now. And every day, I I also calculate the exposure through the beta factor of my entire portfolio in relation to the S&P 500. That's in every daily email to the VTS community as well. I know exactly how exposed I am to the market at any given time. So when I get that green light to short the UVXY, I know exactly what strikes to choose. I know how much capital to allocate, and I know the time frame to set those expiration cycles. If volatility does spike up unexpectedly, and let's face it, at some point it's going to happen. There's going to be a flash crash, geopolitical turmoil, bad monetary or fiscal 
little policy decisions, maybe a currency crisis. Pick your poison, there's always risk on the horizon. But when it comes, I know this vol trend strategy is not going to cost me very much, if any capital at all. I can still get all the benefits of the short vol trade and make a nice profit as that UVXY just naturally decays. I'm just doing it in a smarter way that doesn't require me to dodge volatility spikes like Neo in the Matrix. Risk management is built in and it adds real diversification to the rest of my portfolio. It's capital efficient, and being a defined risk trade also means that it can be done in virtually any account structure out there. Again, if you want to check it out firsthand, in the description or on the website, make sure you do claim your free trial to VTS. I'm very confident that I can add real value to your portfolio and help you achieve your long-term investing goals. See you next time. So for an extensive volatility metrics dashboard updated daily, and to see all of the live trades for our tactical rotation and option strategies, click this link right here and claim your free trial to the VTS community. You're always welcome to join us anytime. See you next time.